Alfred. Uh, today we're coming to you with a cooking video. We're here in the kitchen and of course you'll probably hear General meowing in the background uh, because there's food out. <laughs> what we're going to cook today is a recipe a friend of mine on Facebook sent me. And uh, to tell you the truth, folks, I've never done this recipe before, so we're going to learn together and see if it works. If it does, we're going to have a good meal tonight. As you can see, we're going to be cooking in the crock pot. And what this is, is a complete steak dinner cooked in the crock pot over the course of six hours or so. Uh, so let's go ahead and get started and uh, see how this turns out. So what we're going to do first is we've got a steak here. This is 1.74 pounds of top sirloin steak. And uh, I hope this is picking up good because I don't have a monitor to see what's going on. So, what we do first, it says, is to put the steak in the crock pot. And since this is going to be in there for a while, I'm going to spray the crock pot a little bit with some olive oil spray. This will add a little bit of flavor too, the olive oil. And uh, so what it says to do is to just put the steak in the bottom of the crock pot. Look at that folks, isn't that beautiful? Man. So let's put it in here. Okay. Trash. Now, let me wash my hands. Okay, the next thing you do is you add half a cup. Of A1 steak sauce. I'm using the Great Value brand. It's just as good. It's a little cheaper. So let's measure out half a cup. Right about there. We just pour that in. Next, it says to cover that with foil. So, we're going to cover that with foil. Make like a little pocket down in there. Next, we're going to take a piece of foil and wrap some frozen corn in there. This is from the garden this year. And just make like a little towel. For it. Set that down in there. Okay. And then next, we're going to add three red potatoes. in there. And I see I did forget 
get one thing. That's fine. We can work with this. Get that out. On top of the steak, let's put some onion. And then put that back down over there. And we're also going to put some minced garlic. Okay, make your pocket again. Now we got to put the corn in, then your potatoes. Cover it, and then we're going to put this on low. It's going to cook for about six, six and a half hours. Uh, we're going to check it at six and a half hour mark and see what we've got. Uh, it should be very tender and very delicious. So we'll see you in just a little bit. Take care. Okay, folks, it's been about 7 hours and 15 minutes. Um, I checked on it at about the 4 hour mark, and uh, it wasn't quite cooking as fast as I thought it should, so I bumped it up to high, and uh, it's doing good now. Uh, I think that might be due to the size of the steak. <coughs> Excuse me. The original recipe had a little bit smaller steak, and I just got the big one. So, uh, as you can hear, General is right behind my feet here. He's anxious to try some too, as well as I am, because the house just smells great. So, uh, let's go ahead and open it up and see what we have here, folks. And. Uh, a lot of steam coming out there. We can go ahead and cut it off and unplug it. And uh, first, let's get the potatoes out. Oh, yeah. Put those aside. Down. They're hot, I tell you. Let's see. This foil is going to drag over here to the sink. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh. are not going to work. We're going to have to use a large spoon with holes in it because the steak is just falling apart. It is gorgeous. Let's see if we can get this in somewhat of a piece. Look at that folks. The onions, the garlic. Transfer it here to a plate. more in here. Oh, look at that. Oh. Whoa. And uh, more of the onion there. Garlic. Okay, this slow cooking it. It just tenderizes. 
has that steak. There we go. And now let's see how the potatoes did. Oh yeah. Look at that. Cooked all the way through. How the corn did. Ooh, hot. Oh, yeah, look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Wow. Let's get this on the plate. Isn't that wonderful? The steak has just just fell apart. Everything was great. Uh, I thought the steak would shrink a little bit more than it did. Ooh, looks got me and the general going to have leftovers. Maybe. Uh, huh. So, hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, give this a try. And. Uh, I tell you, it looks good, it smells good. Let me take a, a quick taste here of the steak. And I'll tell you how it tastes. Mmm. Tender. Juicy. And a lot of flavor. Onions and garlic did wonders. So, uh, this is a complete steak dinner in a crock pot. I hope you enjoyed it and uh, take care. And we'll see you next time because me in general has got some uh, eating to do. We'll talk to you later. Have a good day.